Hello, hello. It's me again, the most handsome and skilled Rep Paladin in my house. Today, I've decided to give back to the WoW community and share some tips on how you too can live an extravagant lifestyle in this game. How? Well, to start things off, on the surface level, World of Warcraft, it might not be too hard, but there is actually quite a deep and intellectual side of this game. I'm in the know, I've got the knowledge. There's levels, mate, there's just levels. Do you wanna be that guy on your realm? You do. You want the success, the wealth, the ladies, or men, but most of all, you want the respect and the clout which follows. I can help you achieve these things with my guide for 500 pounds. Now look, the first step on achieving these things are all lies on how and where you're gonna be AFKing. I know what you're thinking. Why do people give a shit about where you're AFKing? Well, mate, it's the equivalent of body language in the world of Azeroth, Outland. It's a subconscious thing, all right? Let me show you a real quick example. This guy right here, he's sitting with purpose. He chose that spot. It's his. He's a man or maiden with a goal to be achieved. L let's, look at, let's look at another one. Let me show you not what to do. Here, look, no purpose, no goal. He was in the middle of playing WoW, probably talking a little bit of shit on Discord with the boys. When his door went, knock, knock, the pizza's here. He just stood up, went AFK. Women don't find that attractive. I should know, I have 150 days played in this game. With this video, I'm gonna help you become a social Goliath through my AFK spots in chat. Everyone on your realm is gonna be in awe. It's madness, it's, it's mad, trust me. I'm gonna start in Elder's Rise. It's a good area, nice little section. This one down here, Scryers, disgusting. I tested out the Scryers place and they said, look, this is what we have. I said, it's not good enough. They said that you ain't coming in, simple as. So we're in Elders. This spot up here, like on this little bench, it's got a little bit of a puff puff boy there. Don't know what it's called. Anyway, it's pretty sick. It does have a skill cap to get in. Give yourself a little strafe. Left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> Boom. And that is how you get up there. Now this is a very good spot. Look, unfortunately, your camera's kind of scuffed up here. It separates the plebs from the from the blokes. You can have a little sit down. You could probably get a couple people up here. Chill out, look. Hit him with, hit him with one of these. I misspell it. It is what it is. I, I ain't correcting that. I don't care that much. Right, next one. Now, this one's actually like a hidden overpowered spot. See, there's not much to it. In this like little, uh, what would this be called? Like this water bed. Is that even a thing? Is that a thing? Water bed. Okay, no, look, I don't actually mean a water bed. Whatever. Now, what would you think if you saw someone AFK in this spot? I'll tell you what I'd think. I'd think they care about the environment. There's water, there's bushes. Whoever comes here, they don't leave a carbon footprint. Next spot. The next best spot is actually ghost form right here. This is a good example of an area which, just because it exists, doesn't mean that it should exist. This is a shithole. These birds, pedophiles. Personally, don't rate it. Don't sit here. Unless you're you know, gonna come here and you're gonna hit me with one of these. Slash spit. You can't even target NPCs. What is this shit, Blizzard? You know what, go fuck yourself. But here, next up, we got the slums or the uh, refugee camp. Really, no one wants to be in a refugee camp. But let me show you a little secret palace, a little secret area within this camp. Now, I think this area is underrated. It, this, Yeah, this is a refugee camp. You know, beggars can't be choosers, but there's kids sitting around here. Why are they right next to the birds? Honestly, I, I'm fuming. I'm fuming. The blizzard, sort it out. I'm disgusted. So, if anything, that this is a good spot to AFK because your presence alone makes sure that these things, these disgusting cretins, stay in their own area. I said some things there which I feel like could get me demonetized about them birds. So what I'm going to do is not include it. Just know I, w I don't want them there. I don't want them there. They, they shouldn't be in chat, period. Now, what do we have here, boys? What do we have here? We have an inn, which isn't really an inn because there's not an innkeeper. But it's not a bad place. I do like it. The band show up sometimes, have a little, little sing song. They bring out the boys. For that alone, makes this a high tier spot. Love that. Yes! Plus cheer. Outstanding. It's the boys. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. 
going on? Here's the PvP queue area. This is obviously popular with, you guessed it, PvPers. Now, this area is, is bad, right? In fact, it's terrible. However, I'm not going to talk too much shit because if you PvP on this game, you have enough problems as it is. On to the next. This one is a true out of the way kind of spot. Yeah, come here and just relax. No one's going to bother you. It's underground, but not literally because it's under a bridge. So technically it's above ground, but you know what I mean. This spot is best if you want to be sneaky or get up to some mischief. You know, do some death rolls or simply just hide away and get cozy. Or smoke crack. Now this one's just down the road from the last spot. It's okay. Nothing special. As long as you're sitting here with purpose, that's fine. If you're just going to drop yourself off here in a random spot, not care and go AFK, do everyone a favor and drop yourself off the bridge in game. Because quite frankly, I don't want to see you around here again. All right, do better. Just do better. The baths. Now this place is actually a personal favorite of mine. Very comfy, very relaxing. This is one for the weeps. You'll love a bit of this. It's like one of those public Japanese hot springs, right? Like, what is it, an onsen or whatever it is. Get the boys together, get your kit off, chill out. It's a very good spot. It shows character. Comfy area, this. See, look, he loves it, mate. XD. Emboldened in my opinion that this is a good spot because look at the RP it brings. That was good. That was good. I like that. The bank. I know you, your initial thought is probably what mine is. Low effort spot. People are scattered all over the place. It's disgusting. No fault in where they're AFK at all. But there's ways you can redeem it. If you truly want to get immersed in the AFK, what you need to do, you need to get into the queue. Personally, I kind of like what these guys have going on here. Look, these people made a conscious decision to jump up on like the little wall or whatever this is called. I don't know. And sit. Probably have a little chit chat. Look, they're chilling. Honestly, I really like this. I like this. I feel part of a community. Warning. Comfy spot. Mate, just look at it. You can see people coming and going. They fly in. They fly away. But most importantly, this has a height advantage. You never know when someone is just going to run up on you, okay? You've got the high ground. You're vigilant. You're ready. So with this spot, you have the vibes and the combat advantage. Now it's time for the final AFK spot, boys. This one I've kept hidden all this time, and it finally needs some love. Many have forgotten about it, but we need to fill it back up. Anywhere in Ironforge. I get it, Shatraf looks good. It's convenient even, but it just lacks the soul that Ironforge has, okay? Ironforge is the superior capital. I'll keep saying it. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back, boys. Ret gang. Ret gang.